I always tell people, if you don't know how to use a camera, then buying uh, the best of the best camera, your videos are still not gonna look good because you don't know how to use it. What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Erin, and this is Erin On Demand, a place for entrepreneurs and content creators looking to build your brand, business, and impact, and today, y'all we got a good one because we are talking about filming with your phone and this does not just have to be for youtube it can be if you want to start an igtv series if you want to create video content for your website or for facebook linkedin whatever your heart desires to create video for i am here to tell you that you do not need to go out and buy an expensive camera just to get started and i get so many questions on what gear do i use how do my videos look so crisp but honestly the gear does have a lot to do with it i will say when you buy great cameras that has a lot to do with the actual visual quality but you can still achieve a very high visual quality with a phone i do want to say this if you are just starting out with creating video content unless you just have the the budget to go out and get a lot of gear i wouldn't recommend doing it you do want to see how well you adapt to creating content with what you have the camera and the equipment is not going to make you excited about creating video content long term if you haven't already experimented at least for a few months to see if it's something that you really take seriously i would say do all that you can with your phone first there are so many features that we're gonna go through and then see about upgrading to some gear i do have a video with all of the gear that I currently use on my channel I also have another video on how to film with your iPhone that you guys can check out I figured it would be good to do a little bit of a refresher and show you guys some of the new phone gadgets that I have that you guys may want to invest in because really I think the the goodness is in all of the accessories so let's get into it first thing i want to do is go through some camera settings i have an iphone 10 so these are iphone settings um so if you do have a non-iphone then my apologies but i am going to be speaking primarily for iphone users the first thing is you're going to want to go into the settings and scroll down until you get to camera once you get into your camera settings I, this is just a preference, I always turn the camera mode on because basically if you're recording a lot of video back to back and for some reason you close out of the camera app and go back in, you don't have to keep flipping around because it'll default to photo. You won't have to keep switching what you're shooting. It can, it'll go straight to whatever it is you last had open. So if you were just recording video, you took a call, maybe you closed out of the camera app and then you go back to record video, your camera is already on video mode because you just recorded video on there the last time you had the app open so that's basically what it does it preserves whatever settings you were using the last time the next thing that I like to do is when I'm shooting video primarily I like to turn the grid on because it helps with the rule of thirds basically the rule of thirds creates grids and wherever those lines intersect is basically where the focal point of the video or photo should be um, this is definitely preferential you don't have to use it but it will help make sure that you are positioned properly on camera the next thing I like to go in and do is is the actual video quality settings so how it records and I have mine set in 1080p uh, HD at 60 frames per second and really you know you can shoot in 4k at 60 frames per second but it's going to take up a lot of storage I mean a ton of storage um, and then once you go in to edit the video it's going to be just super a super heavy big file so I don't shoot in 4k when I'm shooting on my phone I just don't think it's necessary but if that's something that you want to do then go for it I also shoot my slow-mo in 1080p at 240 frames per second and that's pretty much it I keep the smart HDR on and those are my phone settings so the settings do make a difference and yeah these seem to work pretty well for me one of my absolute favorite things to do with the iphone camera is time lapse 
And a lot of you guys see this in my Instagram stories. I use it all the time. And I get so many questions on what app am I using to do the time lapses. You guys, I'm not using an app. It's literally a setting in your iPhone. And if you have an Android as well, they also have time lapse features in the camera built into the camera so you don't have to download an app to do time lapses so all you do is scroll over it's the last setting or the last like option when you scroll through all of those camera options and it's just a time lapse basically what time lapses are are a series of images so it's like it's taking a whole bunch of photos and then once it's done it morphs all those photos together and that's why it goes really fast and it looks kind of choppy but cool so i use that a lot of times when i am showing myself like cleaning my room or doing something interesting or cooking dinner i would just pop on the time lapse feature and it is like one of the best most convenient features in the camera so i definitely recommend using that and then if you are shooting b-roll which is basically like extra footage that goes over yourself talking you can also use time lapse for that as well if you do clean with me's or any type of i don't know video that you want to show yourself doing the process but more sped up time lapsing is definitely a great option for that another cool thing is to do slow-mo and i don't use this feature very often but it is a feature why not use what the camera has built into it i use slow-mo every now and again if i'm like at the golf range with cameron and we're like shooting ourselves doing swinging or whatever or i will use it just very periodically but it is a great feature to use if you create really creative content like cooking and you want to show like cracking an egg in slow-mo as some b-roll then this is a great option all right so those are the main things inside of the camera now let's talk gear all right the first thing i want to show you guys is my phone tripod and i love this thing uh cameron and i have two of them we keep one in the car so if we are out on a date or going to visit our house or whatever and we want to take a picture of ourselves we take this when we travel and everything if we want to take a picture of ourselves instead of asking someone to do it or if there's no one there to do it we have the phone tripod with us and we take most of our pictures ourselves using this so i love it too because when you put your phone on there you can do it vertical like this so if I'm doing Instagram stories, Instagram time lapses, IGTV videos, I shoot all of that on my phone. And I always shoot vertically if it's going on Instagram stories or IGTV. If I'm shooting a video like that I'm submitting to whoever or if I need to record something for YouTube, like a little bit of B-roll and I didn't bring my vlog camera, I will turn it this way horizontally so that it is compatible with any other footage and it takes up the whole wide screen. So you are able to do it either way, which is a big reason why I love this. And it comes with, it comes with a remote. So you, it's a Bluetooth remote, you hook this up and when you uh, push the button, it captures it. So it's Bluetooth, you'll need this if you're taking uh, pictures of yourself. So very handy as well. It goes pretty tall too once you expand uh, once you expand it. So definitely recommend. Of course, I will leave links to everything uh, in the description box. I think that was only like $20 or $25, but it's just really handy because when you are shooting with your phone, a lot of times we like use our books or the window seal or something to prop up our phones, which hey, do what works. But um, I think this is a great thing to just kind of have in your back pocket. Even if you do have a camera, I find it so convenient when I'm capturing stuff for Instagram and I can just grab the little tripod. It's super light and easy to carry around. The next thing that I like to use is the gimbal, the iPhone gimbal. I will put a picture of it up on the screen. I don't have it with me. Cameron and I share the gimbal and we use it for B-roll. So if we are out and about, we use this a lot in our proposal video you know it is just an incredible gimbal for an iphone and basically it's for 
capturing b-roll but making it very smooth so like if you're walking down the street instead of seeing the camera bouncing it is just a smooth walk so the gimbal is a really great tool if you want to capture lots of b-roll if you do kind of really creative videos where you're not just sitting and talking but maybe you do like small you know social media commercials or you're doing cooking videos again and you're using you need to capture b-roll of all the ingredients or maybe you have cars that you like to shoot and like you do really cool car videos and you want to get really cool angles of the interiors and the exteriors the gimbal is going to make those shots really really buttery and smooth so another great accessory of course you can get a gimbal for for a camera um but it's going to be a lot more expensive and a lot heavier <laughs> So it is great to have for your iPhone if you're trying to capture those moments and um, just use your camera on your phone. The next gadget that I have <laughs> is this video kit by Shure. And y'all, this is the newest baby to my, my little gear, my, my little phone gear collection. But this thing is incredible. I love it so much. First of all, you can take this off and I can use this on my vlog camera as well. It is a small tripod. It is a Manfrotto tripod, which are the best of the best tripods. But um, Sure basically created this video kit because really your phone is all you need. So um, it comes with this tripod, which is really good quality. And it comes with this iPhone holder or phone holder and a microphone. Now this cord, it came with two different cords. This cord is specifically for the iPhone. They have another cord that comes in, this, in the package for Android. So both parties can enjoy this gadget. It also came with, everything came in this little pouch, which is so cute. Uh, yeah, and you can just keep everything in here. So if you are on the go, and you want to bring this in your work bag or whatever or you're vlogging and you don't want to have a whole bunch of equipment with you you can keep everything right in here it fits perfectly so what is it it is a mic sure is an incredible mic company i use the sure mic on my regular camera that i am shooting this video on i knew that this mic would be great and i wanted something that will up the sound quality of my iphone now iPhone's microphone actually is really good, but the further you kind of get away from it, the sound just isn't as crisp, which is for any microphone. Um, but I just needed something that could amp up the sound quality a little bit more. So what you do is you just twist this on here, um, or if you have another tripod, you can put this part, this top part of it onto any other tripod. It has the same screw as all other standard tripods. And then you just pop your phone inside of it, just like the phone tripod. So um, it's very, very easy. Uh, it's very easy to use. You can do it vertically or you can do it horizontally. And it's just super cool. You plug this into your phone and they have an app or you can just use the video app and it works just the same. So this is like a trifecta because it's a mic it is a tripod and it's very, very mobile and easy to use. This is a little on the pricier side. This kit was $250, I believe, but you don't have to buy a mic. You don't have to buy a tripod. It's kind of everything you need in one. And really with this kit, like you're good to go. You're really good to go for vlogging. And on to lighting, because that is the last part that really kind of rounds out good video is the lighting. So I would recommend just getting a ring light, you guys. I use a ring light. I'll pop the one I have up on the screen. It is relatively affordable. I don't think it's more than $150, but it's definitely going to amp up the video quality. And they do sell smaller ring lights that are mainly for your phone, which are a little bit less expensive. But my personal opinion is to just go, go all the way and just get a larger ring light that's gonna give off more light because the more light you have the better really the lighting is what makes the video look bomb i'm gonna turn my ring light off and show you guys the difference okay so it still doesn't look bad but it doesn't have the same pop so just imagine when you're shooting with your phone if you turn 
a light on while you're using this. You've got your sound quality, that's great. Um, you're really, you're killing the game. So those are the main pieces of equipment that I use to shoot with my iPhone. You guys, they are so easy to use. This video is not sponsored by any of these. I just genuinely wanted to share these products with you guys because they have been making my life so much easier. And I create quite a bit of my content on my phone, which is why I think it is important to invest in this type of equipment. And if you are a beginner, the accessories really will help amp up the video quality. I always tell people, if you don't know how to use a camera, then buying uh, the best of the best camera, your videos are still not gonna look good because you don't know how to use it. So you might as well master with what you have and then graduate into some other more technical things. But until then, you can create really, really high quality video using your phones adding a light, adding a mic, having a tripod so you can maybe get some different angles, and that's really all that you need. All right, so in the comments, I want to know, do you shoot video with your phone? Because a lot of people, a lot of y'all be sleeping on using your phone. So I wanna know if you use your phone to actually record video content. So if you wanna be a part of my internet home, all you have to do is subscribe. I upload every Wednesday and most Sundays and we just talk about branding and building your life and it is just the best community ever. I would love to have you, so consider joining the fam, y'all. All right, you guys, I love you and I will see you on the next one. Peace.